Who is this guy? Tell me who this is. He was the one that pays the bill. The, pay, oh the bill? Don't yes. say anything. They won't see you. No, please. I need to know. No, listen. Because you don't do anything. You're not here. You don't do anything around the house. I mean, I cook. I clean. I do everything around here. You don't give me any time. Like, it's... I mean, what? What? I this is my house. Anything. This is my house. And I... I clean every day, I work every day, you know I come here every single day, but this is... for the house? I gotta pay the house! I pay the bills for it, come on! I just pay the bill! You know what's supposed to be coming here to tell us to, uh, come here to pay the bill while I'm leaving here. You have to record, you don't have to do this! But this is my house! Okay, I understand that, but you don't pay! How you supposed to pay? How am I supposed to pay the bill when he's around and I'm not some, and I'm not around? You have to pay the gas, you have to pay the power, you know, it's not... I mean, Hey, it's not your business, it's, uh... Family business right here. Just let me talk to him. Just let me talk to him. Just, just listen. It's not working. I don't record. I have, you know, no, I, like, no, I have to know the truth. Are you sleeping with this guy? I need to know. Are you sleeping with this guy? Because I need to know. Please, baby. Just go back home. Baby? Don't, don't. I thought no, you were my listen baby. Listen to me. Right. Don't do it. Right. Delete the video. All I got to say is I feel sorry for the dude recording. And uh, ain't nobody teach him the game. You know? Ain't nobody teach him female nature and how women are. Well, because you got the money, ain't mean, don't mean she ain't gonna cheat on you, bro. And what make it crazy is she cheating on him with Ronaldo's clone. And you so tiny too. What's your height? I'm <laughs> five three and a half. <laughs> your man's really risked it all by slapping that thing at the end. It is not worth it. Hey, 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 hey. Are you even paying attention to me right now? I got Two inches of straight venom. Okay, no. Nah. Oh, no. Nah, 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 that's a Hold on, you said, hold nah, on. Nah, two inches, no. like an angry Two fish. inches. Look, <laughs> even I though cat, the, the cat, the cat, the cat. Everybody don't got a hammer. Who has But they got inches? a wrench. So they wrote on the caption, us after the doctor calls us obese. And the reason why I think that they're dancing is because they realize, and we all know that the doctor need to change some rules. Obese and thick are two totally different things. And they, and they know that. That's why they dancing happy. A discussion that's long overdue. I'm tired of hearing see his power. It's, it's trash. Throw it out. It's a good billion good she's out here. If your man gives you a blueprint and tells you, this is how I want you to love me. This is how I want you to tend to me, cater to me, nurture me, whatever. So that I could be content in this relationship. Why are you not listening? They're not listening to him because they don't have to. Most women know they got about 20 to 30 simps lined up just in case they don't work out with the guy. Having that many options for anybody will make anyone move different. You dig what I'm saying? People who have less options are more careful with how they move and the decisions they make than people with more options. That's just how it is in general, no matter what it is. Being an ugly woman is the equivalent to being a broke man. Because you know the thing is, and we said this before, a man will ask another man, what does your woman look like? Mm -hmm. But a woman will ask a woman, what does your man do? Mm -hmm. So that's the equivalent as, that's the way I perceive it. Men body counts and women body counts are two totally different. They, they held at a different standard. In order for a man and a woman to have sex, the woman has to agree, right? Yeah. All right, of course the man gotta agree too, but, yeah. but it's really, exactly. but he, what he won't don't matter. At the end of the day, it's up to the woman to decide, I'm gonna let him fall. Right now, you can hit up anybody and say, pull up tonight. And they gonna come. And they gonna come, no questions asked. And if you wanna fuck, they gonna fuck. A man meet a girl right now and say, pull up, the chances that she gonna pull up are extremely low. You know what I'm saying? Niggas gotta work for this shit. Put in real man hours, texting. Absolutely. Like really finessing, like man hours, dates, money, time. Right. Thought process. Whereas you. I can just pull up. That's why when a woman got 30 bodies and a man got 30 bodies. It's two different things. It's two different things. Cause like, like the world is pretty much looking at him like, boy, in order for him to do that right now, boy, he had to really be that nigga. In order for you to do that right now, you got fucked. Like, not saying that you're not that woman, <laughs> but yeah, you feel me? Like, yeah. it's like, I, it's, it's, it's not right. It's not, it shouldn't be that way. But, but yeah. it is. Yeah. This is another general concept. People usually respect things that are earned through hard work than things that come easy. So as a result, women have no respect when they have a whole bunch of dudes they slept with because we know it comes easy to them. And dudes have a lot of respect when they have a whole bunch of women because we know typically that doesn't come easy to a man. But that, that goes for anything. I don't care how much dignity I'm losing, bro. This is more fun than any job I've ever worked and I'm getting a bag. Stop calling me a bum. And this is what he's referring to. Tap, tap, tap. 
Thank you for the roses. <laughs> Lizzie, my favorite. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. <laughs> Yeehaw! Psh, psh. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Tap, tap, tap. Thank you for the roses. Thank you for the life. Love you guys. You too. Y'all, she's been doing this AI thing, bro. She made $3,000 in an hour. I'm gonna do this and actually go. $3,000 an hour is crazy just for acting like an NPC. How long have you been married? I've been married for three years. Okay, how many children, how many children y'all got? We have two. Okay, how many children you got outside of that? Okay, and when I got with him, I had four. Why did you um, assume she had kids outside of that? Gosh! By how many different men? Three. Oh. Damn. See, this is a prime example. She found her a man. She got her husband, though. No, she, she found didn't her find food. no husband. That ain't no husband. She found her food. That ain't no husband. Hold on. So, what do you mean I found, found, found a food? Found, right. found a sucker. Okay, so. You found a sucker. And a sucker born every day. What are you hesitant to tell me? So, I'm like, you know, I don't know. What are you hesitant to tell me? So, I'm like, in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying. I'm not playing with you. I'm not. I'm like serious. I'm like in love with you. I'm not like in love with you. I am. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> What's that reaction? <laughs> like, I am too. Let's get to you. Okay. Women communicate through their body language and their mannerisms primarily. And I am not convinced that she's in love. She ain't. I don't, I'm not convinced she's in love with him. That's a sad reality of being in a friend zone. Best friends? It says best friends. Being in a friend zone for that many. For you to be a best friend, you had to be in a friend zone for years. <sighs> DJ Khaled, go ahead and just tell him, bro. Congratulations. You played yourself. you're a young guy and you're trying to build your physique and you haven't done at least a year straight of hardcore bulking not missing meals not missing training sessions focus solely on putting as much size on as possible if you're not doing that if you haven't at least had one fucking year straight of just putting on size you're wasting your time you're literally wasting time dude i'm telling you you're never going to put that muscle on if you don't actually put on the size you can't cut what you, you, you can't just keep cutting. Like, where do you think muscle comes from? You just go, <gasps> you breathe it in. You actually have to put the, the fucking matter onto your frame. Does that make sense? You can't just cut all the time. Muscle has to be built. You don't just breathe it in. I get what you're saying, but everybody don't look good bulked up. For example, me, look at my head shape. I have a slim head shape. When I get bulked up and I get bigger, I look like I got a skinny head with a bigger body. It just don't look right, my guy. Like, look at him. He has a squarish, boxy type of head. When people got them type of head shapes, when they bulk up, it matches. You can't have, like, a skinny pencil head and then be trying to bulk up. I look better when I'm slimmer. More of the story. Do it works for you, man. Do it works for you, bro. Being black in Japan is weird. Because obviously, if you're on social media, you're expecting, like, oh, people staring at you at subways, taking pictures and shit. People trying to scrape your skin off to see if, like, you know, some white is underneath. That was clips I was seeing before going in. Obviously, most of that is not even true. And the weirdest experience was when we were in the club. You could tell before you came in, like, the energy was just dead. Everybody was just smoking cigars. And, like, nobody was dancing. And 10 niggas just walk in. <laughs> just walk into the dance floor that's completely empty. Props to the DJ. He knew this was his time to actually get people going. And he started playing banger after banger up. We met the MC. We met the promoter. We got free drinks. And guy, if I'm honest, a part of me realized I was slightly being fetishized because they knew that their club is now popping now because of the cool black guys. So, you know, well, you know, social justice aside, I'd rather they romanticize this idea of me and I'm okay rather than they be scared of me and it just makes everybody uncomfortable when they stare. Japanese, because they stare. They'll make, they'll let you know when they're staring. It's crazy how foreign you feel when you're in another country because when you're in America, you're used to people looking like you or everybody speak your language and everything. When you're in another country, it's like one of the weirdest things. It's an enjoyable experience. I would encourage everybody to do it, but you feel for the first time like an actual foreigner. You so used to looking at everybody else like a foreigner. You're literally the foreigner. But the most frustrating thing about being in a whole other country is a language barrier. Like people not understand what you're saying, you're not understanding them. That's a little difficult, but other than that, it's amazing. You know what I'm saying? So I would encourage anybody to travel, especially people from my community. Have a nice day, everybody.